Dear students, welcome to a new ICT video lesson on computer operations and fundamentals. Today we're going to examine the use of binary numbers in computer systems. We will also learn how to count bits and bytes. This video lesson will cover how computers process and store data, the definitions of the terms bit and byte, how to calculate storage size in terms of bits and bytes, followed by a quick test and a recap. Computers can only work with digital data. Before processing can take place, the data must be converted into digital signals which are represented by zeros and ones. There are millions of transistors in a computer's processor. A transistor is a tiny switch that is activated by the electronic signals it receives. It has two states, on and off. The digits 1 and 0 reflect the on and off states of a transistor. When you push keys on the keyboard, you close the switch beneath the key. This information about which switch was closed is digitized and turned into binary code and sent to the computer for processing. Computers process and store data in binary codes, that is using zeros and ones. Now what is a bit? Bit is short for binary digit. It is the smallest unit of data in a computer system. It can have a single binary value 0 or 1. In this picture, you can see the binary codes that represent different characters in the computer system. There are codes for letters, numbers and special characters. You can see that each character is represented by an 8-bit binary code. For example, letter A is represented by 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. 8 bits are used to store the letter A. Please note that even a blank space is represented by an 8-digit binary code. Hello is stored as the following binary code. Please note that each character is represented by a group of 8 bits. Now we're going to learn how to count the number of bits in a word or in a sentence. Let us now count the number of bits needed to store hello. First we count the number of characters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. As you can see, there are 5 letters and 1 punctuation mark. Therefore, the answer is 6 times 8, which is equal to 48 bits. In the sentence, I like computer games, there are 18 letters, 3 spaces, and 1 punctuation mark. Therefore, the answer is 22 times 8, which is equal to 176 bits. Now what is a byte? A byte is a group of 8 bits. It is the number of bits used to store a single character of text. A byte is the storage size used to represent a character such as a letter, a number, a symbol, a punctuation mark or a blank space. Now we're going to count the number of bytes used to store the following. Hello. As you can see, there are five letters and one symbol in the word hello. 
Therefore, the answer is 6 bytes. In the sentence, I like computer games, there are 18 letters, 3 spaces, 1 punctuation mark. Therefore, the answer is 22 bytes. Now to evaluate what you have learned today, let us do a quick test with some multiple choice questions followed by a true-false exercise. Number 1. How many bits are there in the word my? A. 8 bits B. 16 bits or C. 12 bits The answer is B, 16 bits. There are two letters in the word my. 2 times 8 is equal to 16. Number 2. How many bits are there in the word computer? A, 8 bits. B, 16 bits. Or C, 64 bits. The answer is C, 64 bits. There are 8 letters in the word computer. Therefore, 8 times 8 is equal to 64. Number 3. How many bits are there in the phrase, one mouse? A, 64 bits. B, 25 bits. Or C, 5 bits. The answer is A, 64 bits. The phrase consists of one number, one space, five letters, and one punctuation mark, a total of eight characters. Therefore, eight times eight is equal to 64. Number four, how many bytes are there in the word keyboard? A, four bytes. B, eight bytes. Or C, 16 bytes. The answer is B, 8 bytes. There are 8 letters in the word keyboard, therefore 8 bytes. Number 5. How many bytes are there in the sentence, an output device? A. 17 bytes B. 20 bytes or C. 34 bytes The answer is A. 17 bytes because there are 14 letters, 2 spaces and 1 punctuation mark in the sentence therefore a total of 17 bytes now read the following sentences carefully and state whether they are true or false. Number one, a group of eight bits is called a byte. True or false? The answer is true. A byte consists of eight bits. Number two, byte is short for binary digit. True or false? The answer is false. Bit is short for binary digit. Number three, a computer processes and stores data in binary codes. True. Or false. The answer is true. The computer can only process binary data. Dear students, this is the end of our quick test. 
I hope that you found all the correct answers. Now it is time for a quick recap of today's lesson. Computers process and store data in binary codes. Bits and bytes are the basic measurements for computer storage. Bit is short for binary digit and can take value 1 or 0. One byte is equal to 8 bits. 8 bits are used to represent an alphabet, a number, a symbol, a punctuation mark, or a space. For example, G7 consists of 16 bits. One byte is used to represent an alphabet, a number, a symbol, a punctuation mark, or a space. In G7, there are two bytes. Dear students, we have reached the end of our lesson for today. Thank you for your attention, goodbye, and see you again very soon. Bye.